Good evening. Now your SCV news, including the headlines for air. Almost a year after the UK voted to leave the EU, negotiations are now underway in Brussels. Brexit Secretary David Davis is meeting with Europe's chief negotiator, Michel Barnier, for the first day of talks. The rights of EU citizens is one of the top priorities for both sides. Nicola Sturgeon is calling for Scotland to be included in the discussions. Police are stepping up armed patrols in Scotland in response to the latest terrorist attack in London. Mosques and other places of worship will be among the locations where there will be an increased police presence. One man was killed and ten people were injured after a van was driven into a crowd of worshippers leaving Finsbury Mosque in North London early this morning. Police have arrested a 41-year-old woman in connection with an alleged attempted murder in Glasgow on Saturday night. Up to 10 people were involved in the disturbance in Mary Hill, leaving the victim with serious injuries. He was taken to Glasgow Royal Infirmary, where yesterday his condition was described as stable. A murder inquiry is continuing after a man's body was found at a house in Aberdeenshire. Police were called to Fernie Place in Fraserburgh at around 4am yesterday following what they described as a large-scale disturbance. They discovered the body of Gary Clampett within a home a short time later. Football now and the draw for the Champions League second qualifying round has been made. Celtic face a tie against either Northern Ireland's Linfield or SP La Fiorita of San Marino. Meanwhile, the draw for the early rounds of the Europa League has been made. In the first qualifying round, Rangers have been paired with Luxembourg side Progress Niederkorn. St Johnston will face Lithuanian opposition in the form of FK Trakai. And in the second qualifying round, Aberdeen will play either Ordobasi of Kazakhstan or Bosnian's Shiroki Brzeg. And the main headline in air. Inspections have been taking place at high-rise flats in air as councils in Scotland react to the Grenfell Tower disaster in London. Cladding has been removed from three 13-storey buildings on the banks of the River Air for testing. The building was reclad with a different type of material than the one used in the London fire. Well, that's all we've got time for just now. We'll be back in an hour with the STV News at 6. But first, here's a look at the local weather forecast. STV Weather, sponsored by Thompson. TV Weather, sponsored by Thompson.